the city of Cape Town, like any other city around the world, uh, because of urbanization, um, has been growing substantially. Uh, we've got a lot of people moving from the rural areas into the cities. So my vision for Cape Town is that we need to get a plan going as to how to manage the growth. Uh, because those days are over where people used to come in and it was said it was influx control. Nowadays you can live, work, play wherever you want to in, in our country. So really it's how do you accommodate um, everybody to build that inclusive city to make sure that people have got access to basic services, access to basic education and to health and that um, the um, long-term long -term vision for, for the city is that we must make sure that we have proper transport system in place, public transport system in place so that people can move around. And then of course also my, my vision is to see um, a city with a lot more density uh, so that we can bring people closer to their workplaces and not have this massive urban sprawl. So urban and infrastructure development must be key uh, going into the future. Well, Cape Town is squeezed in between the mountain and the sea. And already in at the south of the city, it's very saturated. There are hardly any pieces of land left where we can do further development. We also have uh, urban agriculture right in the heart of the center of the city and that must also stay and then we have to do urban development around that. The only space for us to grow the city further is towards the northwest of the city. Uh, there we still have space going up to Atlantis but then you've got a restriction with the Kubuk nuclear power station there you're not allowed to develop 16 kilometers radius around Cuba. So you almost have to have that gap and then continue to build towards the north of the city. Yes, that is why we have rolled out the first My City bus service to Atlantis. It's amazing now how smooth you know, people can commute between Atlantis and the city of Cape Town before they used to get on a bus in Atlantis. They had to change in table view and then take another bus to get into town. Today, they can tra travel by bus straight from Atlantis into the city center. So at least the public transport is now available for people to commute between Atlantis and, and Cape Town. Uh, the people coming to Cape Town and the surveys that we've done as to why they are migrating towards Cape Town is because of Cape Town are the best run municipality in the country, so we are known for providing good services. But they're also looking for access to good health services, to good schools. So people have reasons for moving here. So we have become a victim of our own success because people are looking for better, and we, there's, we've got no problem with that. Um, so um, unfortunately, it does put a lot of pressure and strain on our existing infrastructure. Our wastewater treatment plants, our transport system, our hospitals and our schools. And if we do get what is due to us from national government, which is our equitable share of the income of the city, of, of the country, then it will be much better to manage it. Unfortunately, we are not getting what is due to the city of Cape Town, uh, our equitable share in terms of the 2011 census that's shown that Cape Town has grown by more than 30 percent. We're still not getting all of that money. So then we will be able to manage the, the people migrating towards the city of Cape Town.